Hi guys, so uh, this is just a quick summary about the Red Dragon K571 SIVA mechanical gaming keyboard. Uh, I've noticed that there's no user review. Uh, well, there's a personal user feedback uh, about how good it looks and just a, a brief one. But other than that, from the Red Dragon official group, Red Dragon Gamer, I believe. But other than that, uh, there's no further information on how it really looks or how how does it feel uh, as a personal and, and just a normal uh, gamer or user so this is actually the one you could see on the website on their website you could download the software an RGB software that you could use to um, customize everything well not really everything but you could set a profile, you could set a macro, and of course, you know, the typical RGB settings for RGB enthusiasts. Uh, so, this is the box, which, of course, the usual box of Red Dragon keyboard. This is actually my second one. I had a Kumara uh, before, and this is, I believe, my first hot swappable um, keyboard because. You could actually use different switches. I think my Kumara could. I just haven't really tried or checked. But yeah. Um, so this is actually, it has, it comes with two blue switches, two red switches, uh, two brown, and two black. And so at least you could feel and hear how, <laughs> what's the difference. I thought it's a brown switch, but unfortunately not. It's actually a blue switch. And of course, it comes with a keycap and the sweet, uh, switch remover, and of course, the user manual. Uh, I'm surprised that it did uh, it didn't come with the the typical or the usual sticker of Red Dragon. Uh, usually, they would provide that. As for the cable, it's a USB cable, uh, the usual braided cable that Red Dragon is using. Pretty much a good quality as well of course and other than that the other side I, d I don't want to show the back of my computer it's really terrible but this is going to be how it looks for the it's gold plated as for the USB port and it looks sturdy as for the weight honestly it's a bit heavy well, not really that heavy, but you could say that it's the normal heavy for, for mechanical keyboards. My Kumara is really lighter uh, than this, but yeah. Um, so, this border that you can see here is defaulted, or you can't change it pretty much. You can't control it, unfortunately. Um, that's the only downside, or what, what I could say cons as of now for me. Because I'm not really a fan of every color is changing. I just wanna, I just want it to be blue or just solid white, or depends on on my um, on what color I want for the day or so. And let me just show to you real quick the colors or the the profiles, the color profiles, should I say? And let me just make that okay. That looks good. All right. Let me go back a bit. So you could see pretty much everything. Um, you can't see my mouse. Okay. So right now, the default color profile I'm uh, that it's on is called Go with a Stream. So you could see it's like going left and right, left and right, changing the RGB. You could change the brightness, you could change the speed. Uh, another cons maybe is for those RGB enthusiasts who wants their um, everything from um, gaming chair. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, from the keyboard, the mouse, uh, the memory, the case fan, the CPU or AIO color. Uh, GPU color if they want it to be sync with the motherboard and, and so on unfortunately it doesn't have that feature I mean 
it's a budget keyboard we could say i got it around 2575 um at pc logic uh angeles balibago um here in pampanga um pretty rare actually find because i couldn't find any much red dragon uh mechanical keyboard that are cheap here and so as i was saying um so that's the only those are the only cons for me i think for now that i could say um and then at the same time let me just switch to the clouds fly it's kind of similar actually but it's a bit faster but maybe it's just my eyes but you could see that it's changing its colors indeed um you could also change i'm not sure if it's going red oh right so if you want to check of course the colorful what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna let you select default one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty default twenty colors oh you could customize it never mind so you could freely customize what color to be solid uh and set it up or check this colorful checkbox which will which will pretty much make it RGB different colors and formats of RGB and so second profile clouds fly let me move on to the third profile winding paths kind of cool right maybe there's a diff there's the same um, profiler styling for for those people who have uh, in sync RGB for their peripheral per peripherals <laughs> sorry and then the trial of light that's how it looks okay so it's just changing from different colors and that's it kind of cool breathing it's like the normal breathing um rgb which i've seen this on my mouse and my motherboard before normally on is what i could say a what i just if you just want it to be solid and then set a, a, a static color so this is what i use normally on but if you check the colorful checkbox of course it's actually gonna make it that it's gonna make it look like that red orange yellow green teal uh blue of course purple pink Fuchsia and red again. Yeah. Okay. And then let's go pass without trace. I'm not sure what this is. Nothing is happening right now. I'm not sure if that's how it should be. And yeah, ripple ripple graph is the same. Fast run without trace. Nothing is happening too. So, yeah, maybe that's how it, it is. Or maybe I'm missing it, but maybe it's this border. Let me just quickly pass without trace. Ripple graph. No, nothing. I mean, that border color is really not changing or doing anything. So there's three that's not, maybe not working, or maybe that's how it is. Pass without trace, ripple gar uh, graph, fast run without trace. Uh, okay, this is working. Snow, my bad. <laughs> Snow white jasmine. So, kind of looking cool, right? And flowers blooming. It looks good on my camera if I look at. <laughs> yeah. You could use this if you're gonna gift this to your kid. Nah, no, just kidding. <laughs> no offense, man. Guys, sorry. <laughs> so, because it's really... Look at that. I mean, it's really cool that it's actually changing and it's... It's like Christmas again, right? So, uh, Swift... What's this? Swift Action. Okay. It's going up, down, up, down, up, down. There's a direction as well. Okay, cool. You can switch the directions. Um, hurricane. Nice. Okay. And accumulate. 
Okay, I've seen that on different keyboards before. Digital times, nice. Right. And surmount, uh, what's this? Nothing in the demo, but it's showing something on my keyboard. It looks like just a static color blue, I mean teal, green, this is orange or yellow. And red or kind of look like fuchsia, honestly. Oh, never mind. It's changing. It's like moving left or right. So, if I stay here, yellow. That's why I thought it was orange. So, it's going yellow to orange. And then this is green. Light green going to dark green. This is teal. Which I believe should go to dark blue. Or was it just my eyes? Nope. This is not working. But this one, light green. You know what? I think it's just my eyes. <laughs> it's not changing its colors, is it? I'm going to leave you judging what it really is doing right now. It's on my eyes. It kind of looks like it's changing, but might be not. <laughs> Especially here. Maybe that's what surmount profile, color profile is doing. Nevertheless, I mean, it's just going to be solid. Might be changing depending on your view. Or <laughs> not really sure how from, from my perspective right now when I'm showing this to you. Then this is boat ways. The boat ways is actually going left and right. The pattern fast and diffuse this is from the car movie that we all know okay and there's a pattern as well coastal so coastal this is kind of interesting because I mean it's gonna let you customize via this right now is on FPS since we know FPS games are using those certain keys not really let me see yeah you could you could put in you could insert in or click on the on the demo um, over here if you wanted to change its color yep you can you could so right now it's on FPS profile sub profile should I say this is MMO sub profile and then there's the MOBA sub-profile, which is actually, it looks like Mobile Legends to me from one of it. RTS, kind of outdated. Well, still being played StarCraft 2, but yeah, not much people playing RTS anymore, real-time strategy anymore. You could customize it as well, which is cool. And of course, as I mentioned, you got three profiles, so nothing to worry. You could do everything you want you could also set macro which is cool uh, you don't need to download any third-party tool or software if you need to ma macro anything um, kudos to those people way back and forth like me online you have to <laughs> remember if you're using a dark wizard you just hold the right click and this summon the black dragon technique <laughs> I forgot what that uh, spell was but yeah so pretty much that's how the software looks let me just set it back to what I want and so there we go all right going back on the physical keyboard I'm sorry this is really not my thing I mean the only reason why I'm doing this review is for people to notice that Red Dragon did a good job on this keyboard. As of now, I don't see any negative thing to say, unlike my Zeus uh, headset. Unfortunately, it had USB issues, uh, the connector. But yeah, as I was saying, this is me mechanical keyboard wise, mouse wise, Red Dragon never failed me, so I believe them on that. Um, from the weight, it's actually, maybe, 
you could you could actually bring this, but it's not really advisable to like bring it uh, if you're gonna use it. Let's say if you're gonna go um, traveling, because it's really really heavy to be honest. Which um, normal for mechanical keyboards, but compared to my Kumara, which is compact, it doesn't have numlock keys. Um, it's a bit lighter. The Kumara is a bit lighter. One good thing uh, as well, I wanna commend Red Dragon on this is this over here. This stand that they have is really sturdy. From what I say, really sturdy. I mean, it's not like it's gonna. Oh shoot! I'm breaking my keyboard. <laughs> it's it's not like it's gonna break because just look at. That, I mean it's it's really hard to flip it back and forth for the stand for the keyboard stand so I could say this is actually heavy um, and this is actually the it has all the information Ziva K571 K571 RGB wired mechanical gaming keyboard rating is 5 volts 300 milliampere so it uses times 1 2 3 3 100 milliampere like cuz usually uh from what i saw before just 100 milliampere is actually or ma correct me if i'm wrong if if it's not milliampere 100 ma is usually for normal uh, mouse that I had, like the A4 Tech I had before. Going back, um, there's a. I'm not sure what this three are, this three holes over here are, but maybe uh, if you want to clean it, perhaps. So I have a blower, an air blower, so it's not gonna be a problem for me to to clean it afterwards. But yeah. Um, I'm not gonna use the keycap remover for the, the demonstration real quick here, but I'm just gonna, there we go. So this is how it, let me turn off the light for the meantime. Can you turn off the light for me? No. Why are you still turned on? Let me switch to profile. There we go. Okay. So I was saying here, this is the keyboard, oops, oh, okay, so the profile ripple, ripple graph, what it does is finally clear that it's actually responding to the keys that I'm pressing. Okay, so there's a pattern for those ripple graph and, and fast run without trace fast run without trace is actually just on the bottom um pass without trace is just showing colors or different it's switching the colors for the keys i guess that you are pressing yeah pass without trace is that while the fast run without trace color profile is yeah, it's also, it's actually one liner. It's actually the one line. Oh, cool. Now it's doing something, which I didn't notice. Oh, it switched to accumulate. My bad. <laughs> Fast without trace. Okay. Shift. Yep, it's one liner. Fast without trace is actually lining up different colors per, per line. I'm not sure if it's helpful or but I like the ripple graph from how it looks I'm just gonna make it solid perhaps later and pass without trace it's also cool it's changing like Christmas lights Merry Christmas again right <laughs> but yeah that's how it sounds without the keycap you can hear it um, hold on a second let me just change back to what I want okay let me lock my keys let me lock. okay so here's the sound 
without the keycaps. And if I'm going to put back this keycap, that's how it sounds. It's really a bit loud. Compared to my Kumara, I think this is la a bit louder, but maybe because my Kumara is already like a year old. No, sorry, two years old to be exact. But yeah, this is how it sounds. Okay, and so let me just do real quick a left to right. Using my both hands. So if you were playing before O2 Jam, if you're familiar with that game. <laughs> okay, so that's how it sounds. So I hope this. I was hoping it's gonna be 10 minutes to 15 minutes, but I've noticed already 21. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I hope you um, you have a small background on how this keyboard is, or if this is actually gonna be your keyboard, or if ever that you want, if you, you're gonna need a sub uh, mechanical keyboard at the price range of 2.5 or. Two five seven five. Um, I got it. PC Logic. I'm not. I believe they ship um, throughout the Philippines. Just check their Facebook page and check out. Um, however, from my perspective, this is actually good for the 2.5 price range. My Kumara, I think, was 2,000 or around that price, and this is a bit of an upgrade because. Um, it already has keycap remover, the switch remover, su replacement key, so at least one, two, three, two, four, six, eight. I have eight replacement keys I could use. Two blue, red, uh, brown, and black. And from the sounds of it, I really want the brown. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's going to be another budget thing. <laughs> you know... Uh, I was hoping it's actually brown switch because it's a brown color, but yeah, that's it. It's blue switch, um, which is fine. I mean, it's clicky, and it, it's responding really, really fast from from um, from all my games, from first person shooter and RPG games and stuff. So I hope um, you have a uh, you have more information now if this is gonna be your next keyboard or if you're gonna switch this one or um, if you're gonna go check other products uh, honestly Red Dragon has never failed me mouse and keyboard uh, maybe the headset there's a slight issue I don't, don't want to discuss it here but you will see it on the official Facebook group of Red Dragon Gamer good thing that they're not removing post negative posts about their products there uh, and so on um, what else should I can I say? I mean, this is a great keyboard. As of now, I don't see any uh, any much cons aside from not being able to sync with your motherboard or with with the RGB software of your motherboard. Uh, other than, well, I'm not sure if it's a cons that it's actually a bit heavy. But yeah, I'll let you decide. There's a lot of color profiles you could use, and yeah. It's just two five seventy five or online I saw it around whooping three to three point five pesos. Maybe that's the normal pricing. If it's on that price range, I'm not gonna pursue this. But since I saw it's just around two point five, I mean not bad. And thank you for the sponsors you for providing that. Uh what else should I say? Yeah, oh right. This color here. I hope Red Dragon had it integrated with the way you could control it on their software because I mean there are some people who are a bit um, 
who wants it really that way. I mean, I myself wanted to turn off, turn it off, or pretty much just make it solid color. But yeah, other than that, I mean, looks sturdy. It looks like it's gonna last for years, honestly. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you very much. I might make another follow up, maybe a uh, feedback. Let's say after a few months or if it broke or something broke or the key suddenly would not respond anymore and I have to clean it, I'll surely gonna give a feedback for that. Uh, counting starting today of course since actually this is actually a day two for the keyboard. I've used it barely yesterday but yeah at least hopefully it would last and yeah good luck for finding some stocks because we know that some people would hoard but I, I really hope that Red Dragon would still focus on providing us cheap alternative products other than the other uh, companies out there uh, especially this during COVID season so stay safe God, guys God bless if you have a God <laughs> and um, good luck if you don't have a God and whatever <laughs> just kidding Alright, thank you very much and goodbye.